And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Battle Yahtzee Deadpool. Now, let's be honest here, I wasn't expecting anything great from this game going into it. Uh, Deadpool's a very popular character after the movie was made this year. Even though he's been popular in the Marvel Universe for a while, breaking the fourth wall, being a, you know, just a psycho, he's almost... Almost too silly, I guess, sometimes, even though they have him cross over in the Marvel Universe. I like Deadpool okay in the comics. I haven't seen the movie. Um, but, of course, they're going to capitalize on that. So this is Battle Yahtzee. It has regular Yahtzee involved, but it has an extra layer on top of that where you can fight other Deadpools to the finish. Let's look at it. Now, you can play regular Yahtzee with this set, and I'm not going to go into the rules for that. I think most people know how to play Yahtzee at this point, and it's pretty much straight Yahtzee. The only difference being the dice here have different Deadpool symbols on the sides to match the numbers. But we want to talk about the Battle Yahtzee version of this game. Now, each person who's playing, and you have up to four people playing, are going to pick one of the characters who are imaginatively Deadpool, Lady Deadpool, Kidpool, and dog pool. Each of these has a special ability that they can use once per game. You're going to take a piece that matches your character, place them on 100 life. The sheets here, this is regular Yahtzee. On the other side, you have battle Yahtzee. And what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing that you would do in Yahtzee, where you're going to roll the dice and decide what to keep. So here I might decide to keep, uh, let's see, I'll, I'll keep the four and the five. And I'll re-roll these. Now I got a 3, 4, and 5. I'll re-roll. And I got a 3, 4, 5, and 6. That's a small straight. So I look here, and a small straight does 30 damage to one other player. Each thing I can use twice, so I put a little X there to show that I've used it. I pick someone else, and I do 30 damage to them. So now they're down to 70 health. So you can see each thing here, a full house, does 25 damage to one other player. Small straight, 30 damage. Large straight, 40 damage. A Yahtzee does 50 damage to all other players. For three of a kind and four of a kind, you simply add the dice and do that much damage to the other players. You can chance. Chances, if I, you know, what I just decide, okay, I'm going to roll, and I don't get something I like at the end here. I got one, two, three, three, and five. So then I roll the chance die. If I roll this grenade, I'm going to do that much damage, to, uh, adding them all together to all the other players. If I roll this chimichanga here, then I'm going to heal myself that much. And if I roll this curse, I'm going to hurt myself that much. So you can see that there's the different sides of the die here. Uh, when you do chance, it's going to be crazy wild. And then the, the bottom parts where you just roll ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, and sixes. So, you know, if I roll this, for example, and I take three threes, then I will just heal myself nine points. I'll heal three points for each three that I've rolled. This will go until each player has, t one player is victorious, everyone else is down to zero, because when you get down to zero health, you're out, or until everyone has used up all their slots, at which per point whoever has the most health wins. Remember, each person has special ability. Dog pull once per game can add 10 to any single attack. Kid pull once per game can make a fourth roll. Lady Deadpool can force someone else to re-roll a die once per game. And Deadpool here can re-roll the battle chance die or use a third chance option, use the chance twice, and he can re-roll this. Obviously, his and Lady Deadpool aren't as good as the other two. In fact, Dog Pulls is the best because adding 10 to any single attack is pretty powerful. Anyway, that's how you play. So, unfortunately, not a very good game. Now, here's the deal. I didn't go into this assuming that it was a bad game because it's Yahtzee based. Yahtzee's okay. I don't hate Yahtzee. And there's actually several Yahtzee variations that I think are pretty fun. In fact, just playing triple Yahtzee is fine. And you can do that. And the dice here are okay dice. I mean, the images are printed on the dice themselves, which means they will likely have somewhere over time, although there's kind of a sheen of plastic on them. So maybe they'll, they'll last a while. I'm not going to play it enough to find out. 
Um, so that's fine. But the battle is just a mess. Now, Yahtzee has always been a game in which when you roll, you say, where is the best possible use for this roll at any given time? If I roll four once, should I put it in the one column or should I take four of a kind? In this game, you always take the best option that does the most damage to your opponent. And then if that fails, the one that helps you at the most. Why should you save? Why should you wait? And if someone rolls a Yahtzee, which isn't out of the bounds, I would say I see a Yahtzee rolled in one out of two Yahtzee games, right? So if someone does roll a Yahtzee, they do 50 damage to everybody else. That's half of their damage. Small straights do 30 damage, and small straights are extremely easy to roll. You can almost always roll one just based on demand alone, and a large straight, which is harder, does 40 damage, and just the chance die is just random. It's just silly nonsense. And some of you are saying, aha, that's what Deadpool is. Okay, fine, that's what Deadpool is, but I want a fun game. A game can be silly and nonsensical, and still be fun. But here we are simply rolling dice and whoever gets the better roll wins. Sure, you can decide what to keep and there's a little bit of that Yahtzee in it. But seriously, you're going to just say, oh, I rolled three threes. Let me roll some more. Oh, now I got four threes. My turn's over. Do I use those to attack someone or heal myself? Hey, I don't have any damage, so I guess I'll use them to attack someone. Who will I attack? Well, maybe I should hit the person who's close to death because they can't heal themselves. We, aren't we having fun? And the answer is no. Actually, if Deadpool was reviewing this game, he would give it a much more colorful and horrible description than I'm doing, so you should probably be thankful that it's me. So in short, this is really a pass, okay? Battle Yahtzee, I thought the idea sounded interesting. I was like, ooh, and I like the fact that the sheets come in the game and they're folded and you can open the sheets and there's battle on the back and regular in the front. And the dice look nice, and you know, the packaging looks good, but don't be fooled. Don't let your love for Deadpool let you get a substandard game. Don't do it. Dice Tower of Judgment? Yeah, this is trash. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at coolstuffinc.com. Shut the door. Yeah. Yeah.